what's happening y'all it's William and we are back on the uh, Little Red Line um, it's been a while since we uh, played this um, but um, <coughs> before we get started uh, we are close to uh, 5k right now so y'all keep uh, hitting that uh, sub button to um, whoever is new and um, Let's uh, get into it. Okay, let's see. Let's live route capture or not. That's all way you can be sure of her being Reagan. Be someone up and around. Okay. After the suicide attempt, I started checking her online. Keyword alerts, things like that. Sometimes I'm even watching what she does online as she sits in the same room as me. Mom and dad do most of the looking out for her um, day to day. But this felt like the one thing that I could do. I can mention that it's the last day I want them to have to wait through. God knows I don't enjoy it. They don't understand online persona. The real bullshit alchemy of negative personality trait exaggeration. And did that, she was actually shaking and crying. Nope. She's sitting there eating a cob salad. And if she has any idea I'm watching her, you never know. Even when she occasionally locks everyone out, she always comes back. You can only have privacy if you really give the attention of strangers, something she will never, ever do. All right, I see her on there. It's a Showtime bubble. Use bubble as false pretense. Bobo is one of those cats that would jump up and sit next to you anywhere, but if you try to pick him up, forget it. Plus, he has a strange way of knowing you're going to try. Okay, time to take you on, pal. I'm just coming down to pat your head, I promise. Shit. At least I heard one back downstairs. Let's go get him, Nick. We might be able to see in the dark, Bobo, but I literally know this house with my eyes closed. I know where everything is, even if I can't see it. As happy as we all seem in, in that picture, that was also the night she stuck out of the house to go drinking in the Park was the high school guy she liked and his friends. I'll just say she told me about it because of our sisterly bond. But the truth was that she needed the window directly above my head to climb out of. I begged her not to go. I told her that some guy who liked you might try to get you drunk, but that didn't mean that he really liked you. And if he is bringing his friends, he might like you even less than that. I got sick of arguing, so I promised that I wouldn't tell mom or dad, but I did. Dad drove down to the park entrance to wait for her. And he told me later that he saw the guys going, but she never showed. I don't know if she's ending up listening to me and acting like she, did. she didn't. Or if dad lied to me about what had happened. Or if she went somewhere even worse entirely. She climbed back through the window a few hours later and fell asleep without saying a word. It's a boring end to the story. I know, but life is no story and there are lots of things you're probably better off never knowing for sure. Just sleep. Yeah, let's not uh, bother them. Let's not uh, bother them. If she really is up, uh, and that shit awake enough to consider communicating. Another sign is that she's eating, which 
she won't for days and then suddenly will. In other words, the kitchen will be a wreck. I'll take a look around. In the kitchen, that is. It never bothered me one. Okay. Well, I'll check in here. There doesn't seem to be anything missing. Maybe I should take her something. No, stop it. God damn it. This is important. She has to talk to you. Break down the um, fucking door if we have to. What the hell are you enabling her for? I've seen enough. Time to go downstairs. It sounds crazy, but we have to make sure she brings place back upstairs. It flies down there. Won't bother anybody but her. But watch. We saw a mouse. That went nuclear. I do this thing where I know that know what all the dishes are now. And if I see one out in the wild like this, I mentally subtract it from whenever I look in the cabinets. And I hunt them down if they're missing before Dad can find them. I can me mediate between the two of them to a certain extent. But believe me. That situation was too much. I'm not doing this for either of them. I gotta live here too. Of course you say that. Oh, this way, right. Where are you at, um, oh, cat? Jesus, uh, it's freezing down here. She left the window open again. Why can't she smoke uncomfortably outside like everybody else does? I can say I blame you for sitting on top of the warm dryer bubble. Hopefully that'll keep you from running. And of course the draft of the window being open means the door up there slams shut. Which means mom and dad will both break up. Progress will be made and all that fucking sneaky around was, not, was, for, was for nothing. Oh, fucking damn it. It's more just a story of my sister, of course. More than sexy stuff by a tragic attempts and heroic road to recovery. The bills and the stress from all of it do everything to disarray. My mom had a mess. There had been remission before I was born. But of course it came back. My dad had insurance that was supposed to cover anything and everything. But of course it didn't. The years went by, the isolation and dysfunction only became more taxing and worse. And as the cause of her rises, the darkest of secrets gains momentum somewhere deep inside of you. That secretly, you don't really think anything is even actually wrong with your sister. Her soul and her heart are merely covering rust. It's been so long since she has been a person that she no longer knows how, and for somebody who doesn't even seem to want to be alive, she sure seems to have no more um, remorse about ruining the lives of people who do. But you keep that door inside, tumbling around. Don't worry, Bubbo. I still make sure you get back in, okay? This temperature will kill you. Where the hell am I? If I hold a bubble when she opens the door, as if I had to carry him down here, kicking and screaming, I think I seem a lot more sympathetic. I was gonna pat your head, bubble. It's just my friendly, slowly moving head. Shit. Jesus, that started shit out of me. Oh, it's my sister. What are you doing down here? Why are your cats escaped? I think I heard him run back into your room as soon as you opened the door. He's probably hungry. Fine. Good night. Melissa? Yes? I have to talk to you. Text me. No, talk. Well, you can't come in right now. Daniel's is running a raid group. He needs total concentration. 
Melissa, I just saw Danny say that Ray is super easy. If we knew how serious this was, I will, you will play a better card than that. All I have to get through now is her swearing at me a few times. Upstairs, Dane. Fuck off, Sarah. I'm busy. It's about money. What money? The money? Our money? Fine. What about it? Melissa was standing in the laundry room. It's freezing out here. Fine. Just... Just give me a minute. You coming up? No. You come in. Just wait two minutes. <laughs> As much as I don't want to stand in freezing cold for two minutes, I probably want to see the inside of that room right now, even less. Besides the garbage everywhere that Melissa is probably tying up right now, I never know what I'm going to see when I set foot inside this place. My sister goes from one delusional passion to the next. You can see the boxes that came in static chaotically outside the door. I guess the funny thing is that she's a stereotype, right? A loser who lives in her parents' basement, but for her, millennialism is closer to camouflage than causation. Even in the best of all possible worlds, the waters are socialist utopias. I assure you, she will be here. The party forever. Damn, she out. Kicked out. Well, he goes nothing. At the very least, I'll have to find a way to put her in a bad mood first. Plug his sister into conversation. Good, it's safe. So, let's see here. So, we can talk to her and we can talk to. Uh, her boyfriend. Enduring childishness. Okay. I'll go for um this one. Before she was that, Melissa wants to kind of mental health award for the big game streaming corporation for some sort of thing she did on the internet. Ironically, I blamed the internet for a lot of what Melissa became. People were never meant to be continuously wired into the, into the pain of others like that. The theory is supposed to make you more empathetic in practice. It makes the, wo it makes the whole world feel like stepping on glass. And I've never understood what she gets out of all this posturing about accepting herself to begin with. This is the way I see it. If you You've got nothing to be happy about. The least you can do is dignify it. Keep your head down. Mind your own business. Doesn't she understand that these people are laughing at her? Still, she gave a speech and everything. It was the close, closest to her old self. And we, but we've seen it in a long, long time. It was funny. Smart. Interesting. But she isn't funny or smart anymore. Anymore. Now she's just cool. I mean, she did realize that those people were laughing at her. But now she, I'm actually not even going to touch this one. I don't know why she decided to get out and put it on display like this. But I don't think that asking that question will lead anywhere good. Mercy really insults the hardship of ugly people who says that she is ugly. I had a wall with that. But I can't talk to her about this. The entire basis of our belief in her own unattractiveness is my fault, apparently. But that is both a really long and a really short version of this. And this is a really short one. She wishes her hair was um, straight. Nobody wants to believe their complex safe as self esteem problems are that simple. But I guarantee you she will be really happy if her hair was straight. Everyone reflexively says, it isn't that simple, it isn't that straightforward. 
tell that to five people, tell that to people with severe birth defects. You'll think their lives will be better. Have you lost weight? No. Wait. What are you saying? When did I gain weight? Shit, come on. I don't know, something about you just looks good. Maybe I don't know what it is. Not even wearing makeup. She is definitely wearing makeup. Okay, this one was a bad one to go down, regardless. We, regardless. Maybe I should tell her how cool this thing looks compared to the other one. That is, that, that is definitely the, uh, the PS1. Do people really argue about this stuff? Yeah, you can tell. We all talked to her. Dad wants me to tell her how. Dad wants me to tell her flat out that we have no money and that she can't buy things. But honestly, she won't even believe that. She'll just figure that we're kind of all about to at least try to get her in a bad mood. If you ever notice that people who love to smoke pot are so enthusiastic for how innocuous and not it is that they spend all their money on it and smoke it every single day. I can't think of a flattering way to discuss this, but I really like to drill her honest if she honestly thinks she should be mixing this stuff with the 10 quasillion antidepressants she takes. But I've had that conversation with her before. The not proof it does any harm. As if that means you ought to give it your best shot. I might just like this one go as a top of a cheerful conversation. It's also a bad preface to a discussion on cutting back spending. We got a better chance of getting her to cut back on breathing than I do on this. What are you staring at? Nothing. <laughs> I knew she was going to say that. You guys are like a... Uh, Fucking nut job right now, Sarah. I don't know if these are all of you because she doesn't want any webcams picking up her pink bunny slippers, but because she resin to go to her own disgusting bathroom. Neither what surprised me. She never uses a tablet. Plus, I'm pretty sure the last phone she bought is half this size and has a gazillion times the power. And Tyler never releases this table, but the phone never leaves her hand. Okay, wow. So we're just um, finding things to um to talk to her to cheer her up. Wow. Actually, this gives me an idea. My sister keeps the internet wish list of so people who watch her play games can buy her things. I think it makes her happy because it rings all her bells, feeling famous and having her phone pinned. Again, something new that she thinks she wants. Most of all, she thinks. Most of all, I think she enjoys it because it makes it feel for a moment like she actually is a person that the people who buy her uh, and stuff imagine she is. That's definitely something to um, talk about, but cool. edgy, sexy, that kind of rhymed, whatever. It's a lot happier for everyone involved than the reality. A lot happier than the thought that your body overpriced underwear for a sad, aging woman in pajamas who lives most of her life in a 10 floor area but between a bed, a screen, and a washroom. Then again, I guess people who aren't comfortable with an imaginary life were watching to begin with. I really can't afford to buy most of this stuff, but maybe something small. Oh, hopefully she can't see my email address there. Okay, I think I just saw a smile. I already feel disgusted about this. I hope it was actually necessary. Let's talk about this violin. By the way, I'm using the uh, fight pad because I can't um, look around because this is um, an RPG game, so I'm using the fight pad for this. This month, my sister is interested in learning how to play the guitar. Super proud of all the things she ever takes an interest in our glamorous art, music, writing, that kind of stuff. When we were young, mom and dad really encouraged her to down all these creative paths. 
but maybe some people want to be artists because the only thing they can do is make shit up. I mean, she has absolutely no natural gift for any of it, no level of discipline to conversate. And as soon as she comes around to realizing that, she gets up until she forgets. And then she starts again with something else, no matter how much it costs. My sister has a desire to be a person who does these things, and a desire to actually do them. It's too bad she, I guess. For all we know, Melissa could have been the greatest world welder who ever lived, or a surgeon, or an engineer. Not even the greatest, um, or not even the greatest. Even a shitty accountant makes more than most of the novelists in the world ever will. Still, I'm sure her internet millions would know real stake in her existence will disagree. After all, none of those jobs will he would have ever given her the sibling and praise that all they do is say she deserves. They claim that we would need people who will shoot for the moon, even if the day land of monster stars that make it dangerous for everyone. Forget those uh, people. This is my sister. I know her better than you ever will. Her only problem is that nobody ever married. Need the money. Cool guitar. I thought I heard someone playing a few nights ago. Don't touch it. Why? I know power chords. It's an acoustic. So, what do you want, Sarah? Yeah, try something else, I guess. Let's talk to this one. Oh, Danny. Danny boy. Well, he's like Danny Phantom. <laughs> I saw. He whose name must not be Smoking. Spoken. If you know how, if you know is how much we avoid talking about my sister because of how much it pisses off my dad. I'm trying to imagine how much he enjoys being spurred to think about the guy from the internet who moved into his basement with her. Now, and you know what the worst part is, he's actually a semi-decent guy, or at least a, a lot nicer than anyone else she ever went out with. Totally harmless, arguably bene benevolent, and not mean to Melissa at all. And for whatever reason, she seems to be able to be around him in a way that doesn't put ill at ease. This controller, is, this controller still has that smell. And when my sister was in the uh, hospital, yeah, it still got a smell um, one month later. He was there every day. As much as we all hate him as a person, I don't think my father would let him make I don't think my father would make him go. I wouldn't say he is family, but he's something. It's just tough to say who he even really is. How's it going, Danny? Hey there, Sarah. How are things going? This is going awesome, thanks. <laughs> and never change the water. Because he wears the same disgusting sweatpants every day. The game looks really cool, Danny. Have a good time. Thanks. Let me know if you want to give it a shot sometime. Great. This isn't going to work. This isn't going to be nice to me because I'm nice to Danny. Danny, if anything runs the risk of making her jealous. Want to watch something? Alright. There's nothing in the world that my sister would make, would not make it by herself. In fact, the more so something is completely and solely her fault, the longer and more and, and intense a conversation where you will find yourself in with her about how much it is not. It's why she burns through people. It's why we don't bother accusing her anymore. It immediately becomes about her depression or the week she has been having. Or someone else who put her off balance. Whatever thing she did and whoever it affected gradually drifts from being the thing you are talking about to a sy symptomatic sidebar of the real topic at hand. Her. I said, remember the time we were sitting in, in the living room trying to figure out how to get her out of the zone. Hope scared she had landed in. And she walked in filming us live for one of her inner channels to 
announced that she was ready to accept the set for Nia's to say that we were ready to accept it too. She turned the front facing camera around and pointed at us. I watched the lightning crit burst of insistences from complete strangers go by rather than humili humiliate her. <clears throat> we prayed along as best we could. So what is it? Is it pure and controlled by narcissism? A brilliant bit of misdirection, a non brilliant bit of misdirection that she knows or doesn't know will nevertheless grind down anyone if she does it for long enough. It doesn't matter anymore. There's no more money and in the end it's always always money. That says why wherever she go wherever she does wrong, I either get this message through or we all fall down, and nobody in the world is less prepared for a fall like that than her. I need a minute. I want to say this, I like the fear of this control though. I didn't mean with all this on uh, reading no. My god. What time is it? I don't know. 7.30? Something like that? Don't you have to go to work? Yeah, maybe. Am my color is sick. Did you get fired? Melissa, you gotta stop buying stuff. You have to. This side joke. Holy shit. You did get fired. How much do you owe on your credit card right now? How much do you owe on your credit card right now? Melissa, this is serious. You know perfectly where I don't own anything. How much, Melissa? I don't know. Maybe 3000 Not a lot. All right, I'll talk to Dad. If I can read between the lines of what you're saying, I think that should be all right. I think he can pay that much off one more time. But this is it. You go back to zero and you stay there. Because if you go under again, the money will literally not be there. It's gone. It's over. It doesn't exist. If you go back under, it will not get paid. Serious shit will start happening to you in your life. Do you understand? It might be closer to... S Jesus, Melissa. What? I only told you less because I want to take care of it myself, alright? Take care of it? How? I did a farm racer last year. If I told my com community that I needed help, they would. You don't know anything about it, but some people don't understand that it's not a stigma to be poor and disabled. I can't stand that you made money for something that makes us all suffer. Plus, you traveled to like nine of those geek conferences last year. You both know that the money is just from creepy guys who want to um, do the um, nasty. I wish you wouldn't do that. No, I shouldn't. I know. Sarah, did you get fired? I can't believe it. she lied about that. And not do a lot of lying too. Well, she does a lot of lying. I'm just, whatever. Okay, I'll... That was why she'll just move on to me. No, I, I'm just not sure if they're going to renew my contract. What a bunch of freaking assholes. After everything you've done for them. Yeah. Well, it's a business. I thought they were always going on about how it was their family. Like you were ever attached in the first place. <coughs> no. This is a family. It's your family. And it's the only one we got. We need you. I need you. I know. 
I mean, 7,000, really? Oh, we're back to this guy. Technicalities. Fox or Fox. I think there wasn't anything misogynistic about my presentation earlier. I hope so. You had to treat with a degree of subtlety. But we want to invent sexy convenient women as your main. Except when you want to get a massage or die across. Got a few factors to it. But the cornerstone is that the audience is mostly angry single men and ugly single women. I'm sure you can figure out the rest, but I'm glad you picked up on it because it ties in perfectly to what I'd like to tell you now. Before we get too far into this thing, I'd like to offer up some context regarding the wild things I plan on continuing to say about women, minorities, gay people, retards, and whoever else. Everyone who is hilarious, basically, I'm not stupid. I'm fully aware that many of these things are offensive to some people. Hmm. The fact that I do not have any. You fight for things because you think they are true. Fight against things that you think are false. But I don't care if things are true or false. I believe the purpose of start saying certain things to me. Now the person do something they, that you want him to do. So you can go ahead and hand me all you want. Or you are boxing with a shadow. I don't actually believe anything that I am saying. When it makes sense to say black people are the greatest people who have ever lived, I'll say it. When it serves a great game to say that they are the scar of the earth, I happen to do that too. Okay. Now this guy is, sounds racist. If you want to be a shiny light in darkness, maybe you don't have a lot of friends or something. I don't know. The question you should be asking is not why I say such awful things. The question you should be asking is why, despite all the pain they cause. These things that you are going to, to see me express are absolutely the best, most productive, most victorious, and most importantly, most lucrative things to say. If it was good to be good, I will be it, but it is not. I could go for a quick. Go somewhere to beat my meat. Stop. So, what I'm gonna say, while I wait for this asshole, I wonder if there's any decent material around here. Oh. Why does this own cost the 18s? Appropriateness of behavior. Okay, go this way, okay. Um. The scenery right here is terrible, I begin still. Pictures at best. Okay. What? Sit down and use my imagination short. Now I can imagine winning the lottery and going to Disneyland. Oh, and then I can dream about being the first person in my family to go to college. The imagination is for poor people. There has to be something right here I can use. Hey, a fall book. Must have been some dishes here lately. Well, it's all deuce. I guess I'm pretty sexy. Nah. Don't pull it. I wish I could have had enough of this stuff. Maybe this one. I don't need anything like that. I'm fully on cut, packing my own sheath. Live that life. Oh god, okay. Okay. Well, I was gonna save it for this me.
she always late anyways, does it intention to make herself look important. I've got plenty of time. She would think that mirror self is a bit over the top, but what can I say? I'm a child of the 80s. This better be, this better be better than the shit they sold me last time. Oh, it is. I used to do it for their corporate. Speaking circuit, sales conferences, incentive, travel, that kind of thing. Companies will drop a few thousand products to a bureau. The bureau will retain its entire roster. Then all say the basic bullshit. And then I would go shake a snow club of empty inspiration at bones of quiet. Desperados trying to turn their faces off and cheat on the pop spices. Most of whom were probably getting shuffled to part time or contract within a year or two, anyways. As I'm sure you can imagine, telling a bunch of accountants that the Olympic spirit belonging in their hearts was never fulfilling to me. Not because of what I was saying was untrue. I, uh, truthfully, I have no feelings about that at all. And not because the mind was fine, because it was ish. No, what bothered me was that it was inconceivable. And the fact that it was um, unconceivable meant that it was nothing but a joke to them. They knew that I didn't really think what I was saying. What I was saying. And I knew that they didn't really care. And I wanted something more. I wanted to sell people on something they can believe in. I wanted to sell them on something that they could actually go out and do. Something that would prove I had actually tricked them. Maybe I hadn't earned that opportunity. But I felt deeply in my heart that I deserved it. Alright, one more day I'll be off. And then I'll perp <coughs> Now I'll be perfectly situated for this bullshit. Arthur, are you in there? Shit. A lot of people ask me, how do you feel about having a woman for a boss? I love this because it's a great moment to take the moral high ground. To explain to her how made such an insensitive inquiry that you've got to put professionalism first. And that woman don't exist to be objects of sexual evaluation. Of course, the real reason I don't care about my boss being a woman is that she's overweight, over 30. And as such, I don't really consider her to be a woman to begin with. So she's 30 something to me, okay. To me, she's just a person that's feminism, right? Not that she isn't really my boss, but my real boss is her boss, who is a man. Her talent has something to do with marketing. One of those executive positions they made up a long time ago, specifically to put women into. Where marketing they come from, I don't know. If you're in her prime, I don't think she would have been attractive enough to be one of those girls in a crop time who gives out beer samples. Maybe she used to dress up as a hot dog and stand on a corner with some kind of sign. It doesn't matter, the point is, the boss is the boss is the boss. We're all here to make money. Man, woman, zebra, who cares? The only thing I can't stay, the only thing I don't like about women bosses is how seriously they take it. It's like they have no confidence, or they think men don't respect them. They don't just say I'm fine with it, but they don't believe me. They don't believe you. She's on time? What the fuck is going on her? Arthur? Just a minute. <laughs> I gotta get out of here, but she can't see us effing coat. No, he's freaking having us a lot. Use the toilet. Let's see, I'll pretend to be doing up in here. That way she'll she won't want to come in. Maybe I can't even get her to go away. It's the only reason for a solution in tandem with this story that I think you can imagine. Just a minute. I think I'm coming down with something. I'm sorry to hear that. Can I give you a call tomorrow? No. Fucking hell. I 
I'm on an overnight flight. Is there any chance you can come out for a few minutes? You're gonna lose a few pounds. What? <coughs> yeah, yeah, I really messed up. Why don't you come out? We'll talk about it. Jesus, what's it gonna take? Get rid of her. I think I found blood on my stool. There's some blood in there. Uh, I think I found blood on my lungs. I'll say that. I had that once. Oh, yeah? It turned out to be completely psychosomatic. Arthur? I'm coming out. That's the spirit. Well, at least you probably won't want to go into a washroom somewhere and just spend the last 10 minutes doing up in. Then again, you think you know people. Ma Arthur, maybe we begin. Sorry about that. Don't mention it. You did it. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Ordinary. <coughs> Extraordinary work. This evening, extraordinary, ordinary. Thank you. No problem. So I do look a little out of the weather. Yeah, I took a bunch of homeopathy potions. My wife, my wife is really into it. Hmm. Anyways, the clients have a few concerns they'd like to go over. Nothing major, just a few ideas on how we can maximize the opportunity with an insurance upsell. Have to do wherever I can. I'm gonna still play, pay a flat fee to get up on stage to speak about the power so on and so forth. Technically less, yes. Free stuff more in that I won't get into, but the real money that I make. The money that has made me a stay staggeringly wealthy individual comes not from speaking fees, but from commission on the money that the people in my audience borrow from a lender after hearing me talk about how they should mortgage their family home and blow their baby boomer inheritances to start baby their only sales while profit. Some genius somewhere who died a generation that never had anything, but who has about to give to be given a time and rather than simply wait for them to spend it. This man asked a simple, timeless question. Rather people pierce away that we can convince them to borrow against. And so it was that I was born. Through more than increased revenue, we will also mitigate any residual <coughs> We locked this on a part of the client. Agreed. The premises are steep, obviously, but it makes the proposition as a whole look better. He never agreed to increase the conversation so long as author. Yeah, are you paying attention? If I'm being honest, something about the lies gone now. You think that one of the best parts of the game, what you really want is that you couldn't possibly get boring. Take it from me, a person who probably has more than you ever will. You can get sick of anything. And the dangerous thing about boredom, you realize it's not that it demotivates you into nothingness. That's what people think boredom is like. It's not. And the thing that boredom does is make you begin noticing things you never saw before. The bright lights and the crate washes start to look so much more colorful but the drudgery of everything else gets duller and darker a man that contrast I don't do drugs in and the high cities clapping the prostitutes cheeks and revealing pop in people knowing who I am because it makes me particularly happy I do those things because they are only things that set me fear anything at all. And the biggest problem in my opinion is that it's not that they are bad. I don't give a shit or even that they're expensive. I can pay. No. The biggest problem with them is that they're 
they are is that they evaporate so quickly when they're happening. They make you so happy that you they make you so happy that you think they're gonna last forever and then it's all over in no time at all. That looks stressed. I shouldn't have parked the car alone and left her while I'm with him for this. What am I doing here? Okay, um... Wow, I like this music though. Let's see. I wanna talk to him. Fucking downtown, takes it out to the parking. Tries to slow to get here. Did you find a safe safe place to park? Yeah, it's just a dance being closely guarded by elite mercenaries. That's our AM slash FM rare with five discs. Change it to an exconded with you know the basic idea of parking is to stop thinking about the car. Yes, I got lucky. Actually, Actually, I found the perfect spot. Good. And I appreciate that you want to be here, but you should be taking time off of work for this. And I love that you think this is what people get fired for, it. and not just another pretense they can use when they really, when they already want to, or like they can't make something up. Uh, as far as that. I talked to my boss, lots of people that finally committed us. They have to be reasonable. Yeah, half the people I work with now work for the door the more their kids get old too. Who do you think picks up the slack? I'm old on this one, seriously. I know, but you need to save those times for when you have real emergencies. Just do like a uh, mad video for mom. X me. This isn't one. You said we don't have any money. I think that counts as an emergency. I said there are things we can't afford anymore. Don't exaggerate. Well, we got that right, uh, Magneto. This isn't. That isn't what you say. So I'm not saying exactly what you say either. So it goes. Tell me, we're here, all right? Let's go through our payments for my time. All right. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm going to um end it here for now. Um. But if you're enjoying, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, and uh, hit the like button. And um. If you don't, I'ma um suck you in the You know what I'm saying? And um. Or come back, we're gonna um put this forward by something. But he uh do something else. And I'll um uh, see y'all next time. Uh, goodbye.